Hi, hello there. I hope you're having a great day. Today I wanted to take a few minutes to talk about the difference between domain authority and page authority, and which one's more important. So according to some research, 90.63% of pages don't get any organic traffic from Google. Most companies assume that an effective SEO strategy is only about using the right keywords, but you gotta consider your page authority and your domain authority. Both of these are significant measures that affect how likely it is that your site will rank. And you need to build them if you want to be seen as an authoritative source of information. But how do you know which one's more important and what do you focus on first? I'm just gonna cover the basics of page authority and domain authority talk about what we think is more important and talk about how you can kind of create a strategy for both. So page authority, what is page authority? Page authority is a scoring system that measures how well a specific page will rank in search engine results. For example, a blog post. PA scores range from one to 100 and the higher your score is, the better chance you have of being on page number one. This scoring system was created by Moz. It weighs the scores on a logarithmic scale, which means that it's easier to grow from 20 to 30 than it is from 70 to 80. It also updates, so don't panic if your score fluctuates beyond what you think it should. So what is domain authority? Domain authority ranks the strength of your website's entire domain, all of its pages included. So while PA only looks at one page, DA looks at your entire website. It isn't a direct ranking factor. It just gives you an idea of where your website could rank. And having a high DA score doesn't guarantee that you'll rank on the first page. It, think of it more of a comparative tool. It helps you predict how likely your domain is to appear in search results compared to your competitors. Both DA and PA are calculated using the same algorithm. So DA is also ranked on one to 10. It's easier to grow from a 20 to a 30 than it is from a 70 to 80. And the higher you are, the more likely you'll show up on number one. So then which one's more important? The surprising answer, honestly, is that they're both really important. And depending on what you focus on, it impacts different ways. So. PA helps in a short-term strategy because PA builds a lot faster than DA. It helps generate traffic to specific pages or like if you have a product page or a blog post, it, the, building the page authority helps that page be found more in organic search. But that's not the most viable strategy because it's a really good short-term option. But building DA is a long-term strategy because it helps your entire website's ranking. As you build your DA over time, you increase the ranking potential for most of your pages. And as you rank higher and higher in search engines, you'll also start to get more website traffic. So I would say that long-term, you really wanna focus on building your domain authority. So then how do you build it? Building PA, the best way to build page authority is to get backlinks from high quality authoritative sources, a backlink links directly from website, one website to another website. So that's a great way to build your page authority. How you build your domain authority is having lots of high quality content, including relevant keywords and internal links. Um, also building high volumes of authoritative backlinks and profiles to your site is another way to help build your domain authority. This is just like the very surface, like we're flying in an airplane over top of domain authority versus page authority. If you really wanna dive in and learn more about how Bipper Media can help you build your domain authority or your page authority, please, book a call with one of our business development specialists. They would love to talk to you and share some more tips and tricks on how this helps you. Uh, thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Thank you.